We finally got some mantids. Watch this video to find out all about them. Hello everyone, welcome back to Spoolapods. I'm David and today I'm introducing you to my two new mantids. They've actually been here a little while, but they're new to you, I guess. And absolutely adorable. I kind of avoided getting mantises for quite a while because I was a bit worried about their husbandry and it's not something I had any experience with, but they've both settled in really well and are just absolutely adorable. I really highly recommend them. The species we picked because it's so beginner friendly and awesome. So we named them Cleo and we named them Boo and that is down to their species. Now Boo is a Phylocrania paradoxa, which is a ghost mantis, apparently one of the best beginner species. I absolutely love them. I thought Boo was a really good name as well. They just look like um, leaves, but they have this sort of lovely alien-esque appearance. And they're also very engaging the way they move because they're constantly uh, mim imitating like leaves blowing in the wind, which I thought was awesome. Really excited by him. He's an absolutely great little guy. And we also got a Mio Mantis Peikuli, I hope I pronounced that correctly, which is an Egyptian Pygmy Mantis. Now I got this little one because it was recommended for a small enclosure. I wasn't expecting much, but my goodness, is she amazing. Her name's Cleo, and she's just like the most engaging little mantis. Again, highly recommended for anyone who um, is interested in getting a mantis as a beginner, because she's absolutely amazing the way she behaves. Now, we got both of these mantises from a place called Mantis House. I would recommend them. They were friendly, they responded to questions, and the mantises arrived in good condition and were sent promptly. The only thing I'd want to mention as well is Mantis House were awesome because they actually responded to messages. There were a few other companies I asked questions about and they didn't bother. So, just for any companies out there who may watch this, do respond to your messages. You know, it really does put you above the rest, and that's why Mantis House got my custom purely because of the friendly and prompt replies. Now I'm going to do something a bit unusual. Let's start off with Cleo and introduce her. This is Cleo's enclosure. It's quite a nice small one. It's basically a, I think it's approximately, oh god, I don't know why I'm looking back. It's a 15 by 10 by 10, and she seems to fit in very well. And if you can see there, she is just there near the flowers. Now we equipped it quite uh, basically, had the usual substrates and spring tails, a nice stem, flower stem with some fake flowers that Cleo can climb on. We have the usual sign, which we may take out, she doesn't use it very often, and then obviously a feeding dish, which again, she's just there to climb upon. We also added something really important if you're getting a mantis and you have an acrylic enclosure, add up some fabric or something on the top. We used organza, it was very cheap, very easy to source and very inexpensive, and attached it with some magnets. This allows Cleo and other mantises to climb on top, and it makes it much easier to molt. Um, Cleo, which is quite funny, was supposed to be a full grown adult, but she molted not long after she arrived, and luckily that was like a very smooth process. With these guys, it's just a usual husbandry. I'm gonna do videos on them, just showing what I learned, you know, um, making sure that the humidity's up, making sure they're fed regularly, making sure the substrate's clean, you know, that sort of stuff. And I think she's just so charming, because the thing about Cleo especially, she's so active. Um, Boo's quite um, passive, quite a calm mantis. Whereas Cleo's just such a ravenous hunter. You put a, a fruit fly in there and she's charging at it almost immediately. And it's just so engaging to watch her. And if you walk past, her head will snap around like, who's that, are you bringing me food? And I'm really pleased I got her because I, I feel like I want another one for her species because they're just so cool. Now in contrast, Boo needs a bit of a bigger enclosure. He's still only a little one. And by the way, Boo is a boy, whereas Cleo is a girl. You can tell by the segments on their hindquarters. I think the males have more than females. Females have about six, males have eight and we went for a sort of autumn <coughs> excuse me autumn enchanted forest theme so we really like those so loads of autumn colors fake autumn branch sort of japanese hut usual sign of some spirits down there you may notice the city is bigger because he's going to get bigger when he gets older and molts but yeah he's such a charming little fella the way he moves the way he sways i'll put some footage on also show you guys I'll obviously show you guys some um, sort of close-ups of these enclosures because me just holding up in front of me isn't very useful. He does eat fruit flies as well, but he needs some slightly larger prey as well. So we've got some green bottles we're going to give to him. And he's settled in well as well. He hasn't molted yet, but he has been showing a lot of interest in Cleo next door, so he may need to move their enclosures around. But yeah, I'm just I'm really pleased that I took the plunge and got these mantids because they're so charming. It makes me want more, but I have no space. So I might just get another Mio Mantis because I think she's my favourite because she's so adorable. Sorry Boo, as much as I love Boo as well. Yeah, very good. So yeah, I'm, I will show you some um, sort of more videos about how to look after them, what I've learned and stuff. But I just want to introduce them to you, show you some footage of them, talk about them because I'm very excited to have them. If you have a Mantis, I'd love to hear from you because it's a very new experience for me and I'm still learning. 
Um, if you have any comments or questions or anything down below, happy to hear from you. But in the meantime, from me and the Swarm, take care and see you later.